Well, hello and welcome to Mickfield Hostess. And the first video we've done from here, well, for quite a while now. It's the 30th of April and I thought it was about time I gave you another video. So here you go, spring in East Anglia. Very cold this year. As you can see, I'm looking, or showing you, should I say, um, our first collection tunnel which has all the miniature smalls and mediums in it. And you can see they're only just coming above the pots. Many are still tightly furled and just emerging. It's been so cold. I'm standing here at the moment trying to hold the camera steady. My hands are really frozen. Anyway, <clears throat> what I was going to do is show you the effects of different environments on how they come forward, essentially. So here they are in what it's to all intents and purposes a giant cold frame. It's covered in horticultural net, which I have to say looks very tatty at the moment. It got very mullered the last year um, over the winter. It's very, very windy and we will be replacing it at some point, but it's not as far up the list as some things, other things. So um, yes, it'll just have to wait a little bit longer. But essentially what this environment allows is a bit of protection from the worst of the weather. So, except for when we had the snow loading, of course, but, um, it gives protection against all the frost we've been having and so on. There's very, very little frost damage in here. And what there is is minimal and we can take off the effective leaves as the plants come through. It's a rather good environment. It allows the plants to come through of their own accord. So when it's cold like this, they're less reluctant to come forward because the soil's still so cold. And so consequently, the season just gets pushed back a bit. We usually find that the plants are still looking absolutely fantastic later into the season so you kind of get a, a longer season if you like you've got all that anticipation of spring and it's on hold at the moment all i can say is thank goodness i'm not doing any displays because i would be fairly stressed about it all i think anyway that's the first collection tunnel the other collection tunnel if anybody's been here will be aware is in the field and rather than stomp through there I'll just show you this one. That's the large and giants in the other tunnel and they're more or less the same stage, obviously a bit taller, but um, yes. So what I'll do is I'll just show you the difference. An intact polythene cover will do. <laughs> and this is our, one of our sales stock tunnels. So of course these are all immature plants in comparison to what you've just seen. But as you can see, they're at various stages of coming through, but more leaf and more emergence, more unfurling. It's quite lovely and I love, <laughs> your eyes can't help but alight on the glory of liberty. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? It just sticks above everything else. Beautiful. Anyhow. And it's a very good comparison when we come along here to tunnel two which we finally got the cover on had to wait a long time for the cover to arrive i think we ordered it beginning of march and it didn't come until two thirds of the way through april i can't remember the actual day we put the, the cover on but um and at the moment we've got the doorway in no doors on it <laughs> like roy's staff only they're fantastic but um roy's currently making a frame a metal frame to attach the front of the net to and to net over again for protection. I'm just gotta be careful as I come in here because there's all sorts of obstacles I have to negotiate. And the reason why so much of the contents of this tunnel is shoved back is because um, the wind was taking the tunnel, the polythene off, stripping it back bit by bit as the winter went on. We had a very, very windy winter. And uh, it did quite a lot of hard work for us, but uh, we had to keep tying down all the loose bits and flapping about and what have you. But anyway, as you can see, and I'll scan up a little bit, the plants in here are a lot less far forward than in the tunnel next door. And uh, as I was saying, it's they've been held back even more, but in all fairness, a lot of the varieties in this tunnel are, are smalls and miniatures. Um, so they aren't doing as much as they would be, but uh, as the other ones are. But there we go. Shows you quite the difference temperature makes. But what we want to do is actually 
cover all the tunnels in the horticultural net and allow them to come along as nature intended. The problem is this tunnel is the middle one and it suffers from the, the effect of continentality with the climate so it ends up being the coldest of the tunnels or the hottest of the tunnels and in order to try to mitigate some of that we thought we'd try net instead of polythene because it can be quite sorry I'm ducking under the wire again it can be quite an aggressive form of cover polythene especially when it gets as hot as it has been in recent years and here is the sales tunnel we'll get the mower out at some point but um, so again this is a polythene cover but with green netting for additional shade and um, I've been essentially backfilling like mad because there were quite a lot of gaps at the end of the season and um, tidying up and all that sort of thing because it's our first open weekend to, well, did I say it's the 30th? No, I mean it's the 29th. I should have remembered that, it's my anniversary. But anyway, we open for our first long weekend tomorrow. So um, just essentially, if I zoom up the line here, making sure all the labels are up to date and all the plants are weed free and all that sort of thing and been in and watered and fed. And it's such a long process because there's quite a lot of plants in here. Again, we have about a thousand different varieties available for sale. Many of the ones we say aren't for sale on the website, you can actually find here, or we can split parent plants if they're big enough to do so at the right time of the year, obviously. But um, yeah, it's uh, coming together. And I love this time of the year with the plants all coming up and all that promise it's showing. It's wonderful. And as I say, we've all been on tenterhooks waiting for the weather to warm up a bit to uh, see them all unfurling but they're all getting underway and it's lovely. I actually rather like this time of year for looking at the the shoots as they come up. I'm trying to think where I can get a good example. All the different colours but you can probably pick it out on the video anyway. As you come along there's pinks and lime greens and just gorgeous. Actually there's a good one here, fruit punch. It just sings out as I'm coming up to it. It has lovely red stems to it and then you've got the very glaucous blue shoots coming through. It's just lovely and I think sometimes, I know a lot of people look at them and think, oh asparagus, I'll eat those, but I wouldn't have the heart to after waiting so long to see them. Anyway, that is enough for this time I guess and um, yeah, let's just go back towards the the front again. Now all you've got to add are a few visitors. So we're looking forward to welcoming new customers and existing customers and hopefully having some good discussions. Anyway, bye for now.